ministries. Young people continue with the praise. Praise and worship has changed. It has changed. It's not like it used to be. I'm a soldier in the army of the Lord. Have you tried Jesus? Y'all remember that. He's all right. Worship and praise has changed. When Kirk Franklin came out, the old church did not understand his praise. They didn't understand his worship. They said he's crazy. They, some even went to say, Bishop White, that he's not saved. Some even went to say he's lost his mind. But as time went on, young people started coming in and saying, listen, we can do this. We can praise God like this. We can worship God like this. I thank God for the rapper. I was not only listening to the beat, but I was listening to the lyrics. Not only listening to the lyrics, but actually listening to his testimony in his rap. God blessed you to be where you are today. Hallelujah. You, you could have been took out if you were listening to one of his raps. He was talking about his friends and his homies being cut down. Am I right? He was talking about relatives being cut down. People that he'd seen years ago that are not here now. Some of them didn't make it to 20. Am I right? Some of them didn't make it to 25 and didn't make it to 30. Hello, somebody. But somebody said, but God. Oh, I can't hear y'all in here, but God. Uh, I am a 53-year-old young person. <laughs> Mr. Wright called on me. He said, because you know how to minister to the young people. No matter how older, old you get, you still know how to minister to the young people. And I'm here to let you know, young people, that you can continue to pray. Praise has purpose. That's what we got to get back to. Praise has purpose. Praise has purpose. Bishop, I started to preach this subject. Are you strapped? Uh, are you strapped? Your praise is your weapon. All right. The preacher said, the minister said, oh, last night, for the rest of my life, I'm going to praise him. I'm going to glorify him. And if I would go real quickly, uh, I want to move on in the scripture. It says here in the 34th number of Psalms, I will bless the Lord at all times, not sometimes. Hello, somebody. Uh, we as black people only want to bless God when God is blessing us. Oh, it's quiet in here. We only want to give God praise and God glory after fact, after we have passed the Red Sea. Then we want to give God praise. Then we want to give God glory. After uh, Bishop uh, White gives us a, prophet, a, prophet, a prophetic word and that word comes true, then we want to praise God and give God praise and glory. Hello, somebody. But look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, what about in the storm? What about in the midst of the trial? What about in the midst of the tribulation? You have to realize that, 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 that praise has benefits. Somebody say that. Praise has benefits. It has benefits. It has benefits. You can use praise. Praise has benefits. Uh, look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, are you strapped? Are you strapped? Your praise is your weapon. Are you strapped? You can use the praise, your praise against the enemy. Because see, the thing that you have to realize, the enemy desires the people of God to be quiet. You have to remember that the enemy, the devil, Lucifer, has experienced when it comes to praise. He already knows what goes on when praise is happening. So what the devil causes is depression and oppression to keep the people of God quiet so they won't praise, so there will not be a response. Because if there's not a stimulus, there's not a response. If the praise don't go up, the blessings come down. Look at the name and say, name you still quiet. Are you strapped? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are you strapped? Are you strapped? I feel God. Are you strapped? Do you still have your praise? Do you have, still have your, your praise? You are put here to give God praise. Glory. Hallelujah. You were created to make noise. Right? Hallelujah. Oh, y'all didn't hear what I said. You were created to make noise. Yeah. Just, just have your neighbor say, neighbor, you're too quiet. You were named, you were created to make noise. For the scripture gave us instructions to make a joyful noise unto the Lord. All ye lands, serve the Lord with gladness. Even when you're tired, serve the Lord with gladness. Come before the thanksgiving in praise. You were created to give God praise. And the more noise you make, and the more praise that you give up, and the more worship that you give up, it puts an Are 
are you strapped? Let me stop there, Bishop. Let me stop there real quick. Hallelujah. It's not only praise, but you got to have the anointing and the Holy Ghost to back that praise. Oh, it's quiet to hear on that one. Hallelujah. The scripture says what? After the Holy Ghost shall come upon you, you shall receive power. Okay, we're in the word church. You shall receive power. You got to understand, even the people, Bishop, that are saved, sanctified, filled with the Holy Ghost, baptized in Jesus' name, don't even know how much power they got because they don't even use what they have to get what they want. Hallelujah. Woo! Hallelujah. I, I hope I'm in the right place. You got to learn how to use what you got. Just don't, don't go down in Jesus' name and receive the gift because it is a gift. Hello, somebody. And how many got the Holy Ghost? You know what I'm talking about. It is a gift. Don't go down in Jesus' name and receive a gift and don't use the gift that God has given unto you to use. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. To your advantage. Hello, somebody in here. I am a praiser. I love praising God. I praise God if there's a casket in front of me. Hello, somebody. I praise God in a cemetery. I praise God in a dead atmosphere. Bishop knows how I am. Hallelujah. It can be one. I'll give God praise in the house. It can be five. It can be ten. It can be a thousand. I'm going to give God the same praise. Hello, somebody. Because my praise is not predicated on who's here. Hello, so my praise is predicated on what God has done for me. So I'm not looking at circumstance and situation. I'm looking at God. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, it's not what you see, it's what you see. We need to be looking past where we are and seek God. Praise God, not for where we are, but praise God for where you're going. Can somebody give God praise on that one? Praise God for where you're going. Hello, somebody. Not allowing circumstance to dictate your praise. Yes, your body is praying. Your body's tired, but God's been Hello, somebody. Hallelujah. Yes, you would desire to go get something to eat. Hallelujah. But we're in the house of praise. God is still yet being good. So when I go past circumstance and I look at God, I say, God, my soul looks back and wonder how I got over. Come on, somebody up in here. Just like the brother said, hallelujah. I'm going to praise him for the rest of my life. Why? Because he's me like that. When I throw one up, he throws one down. Let me say this to you. Hallelujah. If you give God a teaspoon of praise, God will give you a teaspoon blessing. If you give God a bucket praise, God will give you a bucket blessing. But if you give God all the praise, if you give God all the praise, hey, hallelujah. Listen to neighbor and say, neighbor, I'm not going to give him some of it. I'm to give God all the praise to God, right? I know you're tired, but I dare you to break loose and break up and give God all the praise. Give God all the praise. I'm not going to be stingy with it, but I'm going to give him it. Hello, somebody. Hello, yes, we go. Let me throw the memo from heaven. Let me throw the memo in there. So 
Sister Regina, seven times hotter, and hell is hotter than that. Oh, Hot situation. Sharon, Meshach, and Abednego, and this is what the people of God got to be like. Young people, this is the way we got to be. In a hot situation, we got to be to the point. Devil, I don't care what you do. My God is great. My God is greater than whatever you think you can do to destroy me. Uh, look at your neighbor. I ain't forgotten. Look at your neighbor. Say, neighbor, are you strapped? Nebuchadnezzar did not know that them three boys were strapped. Hallelujah. There was somebody in here. They got into a hot situation. They got into a hot circumstance. And they did not check them, hallelujah, with metal detectors to see what they had on when they put them inside the furnace. Hello, somebody. Uh, TSA didn't check them before, hallelujah. They allowed them to enter the fiery furnace. Hello, somebody. But Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego said, check it up. Hallelujah, if we're going down, we're going down together. Hallelujah, but somebody got, must have got onto a nice song and said, listen, hallelujah, for the rest of my life, I'm going to give him praise even in this hot situation. So I don't know what song they were singing, Bishop, hallelujah, but when they struck the song, the circumstances and situation began to change. Hello, somebody not knowing that they were strapped, when they pulled out the praise, the atmosphere begins to change. I said that to say this as long as you're quiet you're set up as long as you sit down with your hand on your head you're being set up as long as you allow the bet the devil to play with your mind and say you're too tired to clap you're too tired to raise your hand you're too tired to give God praise you're too tired to give God glory you're being set up in a hot situation hallelujah but I'm here to let you know if you forget about in a continuous praise atmosphere. Hello, hey. somebody up in here. Not only the type of people that can only praise him inside the church. Glory. Hello, somebody up in here. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because see, you know what? The church is not with you when you're out there on the street. Amen. In a tough situation or circumstance. Hallelujah. You got to have God down on the inside. The old church used to sing a song. Hallelujah. Minister my dad, they used to sing a song up above my head. I hear music in the air. I really do believe, Sister White, there's a heaven somewhere. Hello, somebody up in here. That's how I made it. Hallelujah. There was times in my life, brother, and I heard you in the rap. There was times in my life where it got real, 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 real dark. Hello, somebody up in here. But because I'm a praiser, hallelujah, and I know how to trust the Lord with all my heart and lean not to not and understand and always acknowledge him and allow him to direct my path. God said always use what you got. And this one thing that I know that I have is praise. Hello, somebody. I not only praise, I have the Holy Ghost and anointing that gives me what I need, hallelujah, to step out of a hot situation. Hello, somebody up in here. See, some people need music. I don't need music. Some people need drums. I don't need drums. Hello, somebody. All I need, Bishop, is just a thought. Hallelujah. Sister Regina, and that thought is when I think of the goodness of Jesus, not just one, not just two, not just three, but all he's done for me. Hallelujah. Tell somebody, say, think about it, think about it, think about it. Hallelujah. All he's done for me. My soul cries out. Hallelujah. I thank God for saving me. And when I think about him saving me, I get excited. When I think about him feeling me, I get excited. My question here, Bishop, do I got a witness? 
to shake you up when you're going through. Huh? Your salvation should shake you up when you're going through. It's not what you see. It's what you see. Hey. It's not what you see. Good. I preach that bishop. It's what you see. It's not what you see in the natural. It's what you see in the spiritual. Look at the name and say, neighbor, it's past that. Past that. Hallelujah. It's past that. Let me turn, let me put my blink on, Bishop, and turn the corner because I just got another memo from heaven. This is not in the natural what you see on this wall. Miracles are in the spiritual. Whew. Miracles are in the spiritual. Yes. And the only way you see a miracle is look past the natural. That's right. That's right. Wow. Look past the natural. The natural says, sorry, Bishop, I had to turn a corner right there. The natural says, when Bishop is doing a miracle service, wheelchair comes in. Wheelchair must go out. Mm -hmm. yeah. wow. But the spirit, I'm still on praise. The spiritual says, if you get enough praise in a hot situation, the chair will stay here. And the... Y'all didn't get that. Y'all didn't get that. Y'all would have ran right now. Y'all didn't get that. The chair will stay here. And the miracle will walk out. Glory. Yeah. Oh, Hallelujah. somebody give God praise in here. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Hallelujah. The miracle will walk out. Cousin Regina, where I come from, I was in, in I think I was in uh, uh, New Jersey. Jersey. How many know about storefront churches? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We know about storefront that. churches. Yeah. I was in New Jersey, Bishop, and I walked in a place. My attention was just messed up. There was a wheelchair over here. There was a cane right here. There was a walker right there. There was a cast right there. I said, Lord, have mercy. If they'd have left the stuff on the wall. Mm -hmm. Oh, y'all, y'all didn't get it. Y'all didn't get it. <laughs> Listen, if they left, they actually hung the chair, wheelchair on the wall as a sign of healing. Yeah. Uh -huh. I said, if the wheelchair's on the wall, right, right. Yeah. somebody danced up, up out of here. Lord. That's, right. That's, right. That's right. That's right. Oh, yeah. That's right. That's right. And I questioned God. I said, God, what is wrong with the people of God today that they're wheeled in and wheeled out? We are not believing God. He said they don't believe anymore. Right. Hallelujah. They don't believe in miracles anymore. Right. I've been in church. Camille, I've been in church where the praise was so high that they did not have to make an altar call. The praise was so high, Bishop. Amen. That the people's faith increased so high that they walked out of the house with a miracle. And ain't nobody touching but Jesus. Amen. Amen. We can't wait on praise and worship leaders to tell us or instruct us to give God praise when it's our duty. And our purpose is to give God praise. Because you was created to give him praise. Hello, somebody in here. And when you don't give him praise, you're being set up by the enemy. You know what he does? When you don't give God what God deserves, the enemy sits right by you and says, I got this one. He sits right by you. I got this one. You just sit there. You're on my side. That's what he does. You're on my team. Glory. Huh? 
But when we learn how to praise God through the storm, the blessing is on the other side of through. That's why I can say, Brother G, because of who you are, Hallelujah. I give you glory. Glory, glory, glory. Go ahead and pray, brother. Play, brother. Because of who you are, I give you praise. Because of who you are, I will lift my voice and say, Lord, I worship you. Because of who you are. And the songwriter goes to say, Sister Ashley, Jehovah Jireh, my provider. Jehovah Nisi, reign to me. Jehovah Shiloh. Because you can 
to Bishop White. I said that to say this. Your ministry has a watchful eye. Keep your eyes open. Oh, hello, somebody in here. Keep your eyes open. Ashley, George, keep your eyes open. Watch your young people. Watch their actions. Watch and see if they come into the house of God with their head down. That's ministry. Peer pressure is dangerous. Yeah. It's dangerous. The first thing they said when that young man took out those nine people, where is his parents? Hallelujah. And somebody was ministering. He said, the problem is years ago. Train up with a child in a way that he or she should go. Being PK children, PK kids, pastor's children, it's rough. But it's for your own good. It's for your own good. I'm one. Didn't understand it. Her mother now, 70 years old. She looks at me and says, son, I thank God for you. Because you listened. And because you listened, you survived. Hallelujah. Because you listened, you wasn't cut down at 18 years old. Because you listened. Ministers, because you listen. Your pastor started where you are. But he could not get to where he is unless he listened. He that had the ear, let him hear. He must listen. And you to his ministers, God's going to say things to you that you're going to be like, really? Seriously? The children of Israel did the same thing when they came to the Red Sea. 